Yes, you deserve love. So what's resurfacing for a lot of you is past energies of of um ex connect like exes and stuff like that or experience relationships you've experienced in the past where there's some level of regret one of giving of yourself and for some of you it could just be just regret of a lot of things like questioning what you deserve or even some of you may have some some i feel frustration with the love department um, when it's like, when is it going to happen? Or you're just so tired of like, not, not being able to have a healthy relationship, you know, like the dream relationship. Like, it's like you have this vision of your desires and your heart's desires on how you want to be reciprocated. And there's just a lot that's coming up for, about that as well, I feel. So this is going to be a healing reading, Aries. So let's see what else Spirit's going to give us. So yes, very soon. So this is so this is the one that popped up first, right? We're gonna get to every everything. Clearly decide what you want so that comes to you now. So to me, this has a lot to do with very soon things will get clear. Right now, I feel like there's a cloud. So here we have unrequited love. It's that energy that I was telling you about your connections. A lot of you are probably experiencing a lot of things from the past life, like past life, your past relationships, past life relationships. There's a lot of things that some of you are experiencing that is resurfacing and it's like, you're tired of these un, um, these connections that don't reciprocate. And it's like, what you envisioned where you would be right now so some of you may be like in a space of like um time you know time invested and time is an issue you know in terms of how you feel where you would you saw yourself being in a very different space right now in this time and point than where you are right now so I feel like Spirit is saying when you decide to no longer focus on this, right? And this is a decision. So the decision comes from you of the initiation of the change you want in your life. So, oh my God, there you go. You deserve love comes back out again and it's safe for you to love. So when you're finally, you've, when you feel the safeness and when I was shuffling, I knew I felt that energy. I saw the four of pentacles. You're holding on to your stability because nothing's going to make you feel safe while still in this energy. So, you know, you've been in these connections that just have been challenging for some time and know that you do deserve this, you know, beautiful connection and you can have it. It may not be how you envisioned it because usually, you know, the universe grants us things when we least expect it. But this lesson, this is a lesson that needed to be closed out and learned. So when you do see and um, connect with someone, it's it's gonna it's gonna be something you recognize, and then you also have this level of gratitude for. So spirit wants you to know, it's divine timing is at work in your love life. Work worth waiting for. So this is it's worth waiting for. You know, this is something that. There are things that you need to close out. You need to get clear because right now, clearly decide. I feel the energy is that right now, all this is coming to surface. So, the, you know, spirit wants you to deal with this first. Kind of like clear your energy and, and really come to some level of Self, like the self-love is necessary. So acknowledgement, you know, show yourself compassion, write down, you know, if you have to write yourself a letter, like I'm feeling some of you may have to do that and do that. I think a, a healing ritual is necessary. So let's see. Let's see what else Bert wants to give in these guidance. Yes, there goes the devil, right? And this is the healing that needs to take place. Fulfillment of wishes, guys. This is the Nine of Cups. This is all about you. You know, this is about your emotions. What's going to fulfill you? And this space, the shadow, 
the shadow that I'm feeling for a lot of you because it's obviously devil coming out. That means there's a lot that's being surfaced. Obviously, you all have different stories, but the shadow is all pointing all of you to the same direction, which is what makes you feel fulfilled. And this is where you get to decide and healthy boundaries are created and you find your voice, which I feel with the strength card here. So you have to find your voice, find that courage, um, that courage to make clearly decisions. So when we find our voice is how we are able to make those clear decisions about what we want. And then we have the sun, which is the illumination of all of it, because this is about turning our life around, finding the, the positive out of all the darkness too. And coming to a level of acceptance and gratitude for the lessons that the past has also showed us. So let's get some on this devil energy fair Why the devil? Okay. So, of course... Five of Swords came out, and then we have two nines. You guys, I think, I think, um, Aries, you guys have been getting a lot of nines lately, but now you've got nine, nine, nine. So nine of Wands, nine of Pentacles, and you got nine of Cups. This is all about the self. And here, the Five of Swords, you're tired. This this has a lot to do with the past. You know, feeling like, you know, it's like you're you're letting things go. You're walking away from the mental battle. And all of these energies that just kind of always had you, had you on guard with this Nine of Wands. Because you've had to protect yourself and you're focused on the stability. So I think it's healing that continue healing because I feel the fact that it's showing with the Five of Swords. It's like, it's done. Just let it go. Be observant. Like, look at it for what it is. Yes, you've had. There's a level level of exhaustion that comes with the Nine of Wands because it's trying and it's exhausting. Stay focused on your stability with the Nine of Pentacles. You know, don't let that shake you anymore. And again, it's about clearly deciding and continuing to um, cycle out anything that makes you feel that way. And I think it feels like that's what you're doing and that's what you've been embarking on for some time energetically and so you know that's just keep going i just keep hearing keep going because this is about what you really what's going to fulfill you it's it's moving to your direction right where you're feeling fulfilled you're finding your voice and then you have this positive outcome after all the clearing you've made a decision it's, it's all clear to you there's a sense of freedom um so give me more of this nine of cups by the nine of cups here. Yeah, all about stability. Four of wands, the lovers, four of swords, geez, and the ten of cups, and of course, the seven of cups. I mean, seven of swords. So all of this has to do with your stability, um, the past, you know, um, but also your future, your lovers, the connections you've had, you've been thinking a lot about this. So let it allow it to resurface and allow yourself to redefine what's going to fulfill you in bringing in these, this connection, um, 10 of cups, right? Having this fulfillment and it's here for you, right? But we have to be careful that we rob ourselves mentally with the seven of swords from these thoughts and then we think too much about the past right sit and four of swords but the healing aspect because the four of swords is healing so allow it to show you and then allow it to show you what the seven of swords is from these energies these past right the things that that those connections i want to say like what rob what you feel what you feel robbed you from the stability and the happiness and then releasing that so let's see give me more of the strength 
because again, you're on the nines and that's the self. So that's single, 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 you know, very high priestess too. Queen of Cups. Yeah, your emotions, you need to find your voice. Um, this is a time to heal your emotions, find the strength within your emotions, right? Drop the battle, Ten of Swords. So uh, there you go. You know, I said the Four of Pentacles. Your stability is important here, right? So you're just trying to maintain. So a lot of you are kind of just maintaining, but, and the energies are challenging. So keep going. It will emotionally have you feel, it's like an emotion, it's gonna be cyclical. This is what I'm trying to say. Um, Aries. So Queen of Cups, obviously Cancer energy. I'm really, you know, I'm feeling that Cancer moon. The waters, as I said in the channel message earlier, I feel you deep in your waters. You, this, this water, this Cancer full moon, it's very deep. So it's taking you to your waters. Um, it's going to shake you up a little bit, but it's a cleansing because we've got the world and the Ten of Swords. So it's, it's a cleansing period and obviously going to lead to an Ace of wands right moving towards the sun yeah when we spend time alone hermit energy popped out give me more of the sun beautiful i love this energy aries look we've got the death the eight of cups walking away spending time so much clarity with the hanged man page of swords getting information and there you go um Empress, and you know, you guys have been showing up as the Empress for some time now, Aries, because this has a lot to do with you choosing your stability, right? You're you're focusing on you, are you on your abundance? And the Empress is abundant; it's fertile, so it's, it you will succeed when when this transformation happens. You will succeed through this transition. There's a lot that's coming to surface. And there's a lot of decisions you're going to make because this is about very soon. So you're going to, things will unfold when you spend this time alone. And you'll know what to do, you know, with this Page of Swords. Page of Swords, to me, I always think of knowledge. Um, and this energy, obviously, a lot of people use it as a spy card, but this is not about spying. This is about you studying, getting information, like, um, you know, it's it's your glow up of whatever way it is because you're you're choosing you. So whatever you guys are doing, you know, for that this transformation, because it's a big transformation that you're that you're focused on. You're focused on increasing your worth, your value, um, so nothing shakes you. Like you're you're prioritizing. The Aries Collective I'm picking up is prioritizing themselves. You know, it's not so much about love. That's why I felt this reading was it going to be about you, about what you deserve, redefining that. Um, so let's see, what are the blockages here for Aries? Yeah, tranquility take your time slow down so it's gonna feel like slow energy but take your time you know let yourself let things come to you because they it's it's gonna come to you it's gonna come to you yeah beautiful like i said a lot of you are focused on on like increasing your worth your self-worth and your value so passion and this is a focus of shifting your energy to something that can elevate your spirit and your frequency, right? Your how you're vibing. So there's a burning fire inside of you waiting to come out. Time to get creative and work on what brings you joy and happiness. Doing what you love will give you energy and will attract like-hearted people to you. And that's what this energy is. So whatever is it that you're studying, whether you're working out, whatever it is, this glow up, right? We can call it your glow up. But your transition to, um, and and your focus, you know, because this is a big change. You're you're just focused on 
getting knowledge. I, a lot of you just feel like knowledge, like there's something about knowledge, studying. A lot of you may be studying, taking courses, just learning something new, maybe learning a new hobby, something that you're passionate about and you're focused on that and you're at a learning stage of this, um, which is going to bring about this big change in you. Okay, so let's see what other guidance for you, Aries. Yeah, exactly. Of course. So first card I want to point out is forgive. And that's all this energy we're looking at, right? Like letting go of the past, whatever, whatever you invested, the time you invested, like shifting your focus and knowing what you deserve, redefining that. And so forgive, right? Let go of any resentment or guilt that binds you from inner peace and growth. And you know, when you make that shift and, and you prioritize you because, and I do feel a lot of you are on this timeline already. I feel like this is a timeline you're on. So as you're refocusing, keep going, keep going, um, Aries, because, you know, this, this isn't overnight, right? The forgiveness, you I know it's not an overnight exchange, but when you commit to healing you know you find more inner peace and, and growth and that's that's how the empress lives you know the empress is at peace like she just sits and things happen and and, and you'll get there right and then self-love i mean of course this is all about what you want your love you're taking care of you this is also a number nine so there's a lot about completion 999 here I spent so long outside of my body that I've forgotten how soft and strong she really is. Um, she, she welcomes me back with open arms and reminds me that I always have a home. So, you know, you can come back to yourself first in this time, and then you can share yourself later with someone. But when you put yourself in this vibration, the, you know, the love will happen, you know, so... I'm going to leave it there, um, my beautiful Aries. I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.